so high. <laughs> Recently, there was something that happened to me that was not expected. Well, like, I really expected it to happen, but I didn't expect it to happen, like, right now, but it happened. My family drove up to this Amish farm in Wisconsin, and we came home with a little friend. Come here, I need to show you to everybody. This is my new puppy! <laughs> he doesn't really like this, I don't think. Look at him right now. He's just like not really loving it. Hi, honey. This is my son, Wally. He is a golden retriever puppy. I love him so much. His name is Wally. I named him after the robot. If you don't know, Wally is one of my favorite movies ever. I love him. He's a robot. He's cute. It's not spelled with like the dash and then the E because homeboy ain't got time to put a dash and an E every single time I write his name. His like full name, like his Catholic name or his whatever name is Walter, but Wally is like a cute little doggy name, so his name is Wally, Walter. However you want to address him. He doesn't really know his name yet, and it's kind of weird because like normally when like a dog is doing something, you like yell their name so they can like come to you or do whatever, you know? But like he doesn't know his name yet. So he's just like sitting here and he's just like, like what? <laughs> Wally come. Wally come. Wally. He ain't never gonna learn his name. He just doesn't know his name. It's like kind of low-key infuriating because like when he's outside, like going to the bathroom and you're like, say, Wally, come here. He just don't do it. Like he just lays here. Like what? <laughs> what the break? In my last video, I had mentioned something that like, oh, I want to get a puppy pretty soon. I don't know how the details are gonna work out or if it's gonna work out, but like I'm ready to get a puppy. And then like a few days later, like I got a puppy and everybody was like, that was pretty soon. <laughs> but that was filmed like two weeks ago. So like it has been some time since then. But the truth is, is I came back from vacation, like very, very ready to have a puppy, you know? Like we were on that cruise and every time I played bingo, I was like, I'm gonna win this jackpot and with that money, I'm gonna buy a puppy. I never won bingo. I am salty about it, but like I did get a puppy, so it doesn't really matter. We drove through like the country area, so like, you know, like I don't know if you're in Illinois, but like in Illinois, like you're like at the city parts and then like all of a sudden like, there's like literally nothing for like very, very many miles. And you're like, well, what happened? <laughs> like he was literally the first puppy I saw. Like there's a little like fenced in cage area when you first got there and like he was like, we'll bring out our first puppy and he brought out my son. Can you even see him boy we're making a video do you not want to be in it what the frick but he was the first puppy there and my problem is is that immediately upon seeing him I adopted the name Wally onto him because my family and I had all come to terms with like that's the name we really like and so the first moment I saw him I was like Wally and I just loved him so much he's so fluffy he was so gentle he was so sweet and I was like I want him I want to take him home he deserves all the love in the world but this is my son Walter and or Wally, preferably Wally because it's like a cute dog name and also the robot. I love him so much. His birthday is on May 29th. So when it's his birthday, expect to see a video of me throwing him a birthday party. Um, he's a Gemini. He's like really mellow. Like that was something that I realized right up, like upon meeting him and getting to see him. Like all the other puppies had like that wild puppy energy. And he was just kind of laying around, kind of chill. And like, I'm waiting for it to hit, you know, where like suddenly he's gonna be like naughty and I'm gonna have to like yell at him. And, like the rebellious teen stage. Like I'm not ready for that as a parent. Like he's been here for four days. I don't want to think about it. Oh, look at him. He's laying down. <laughs> That's literally what my whole life is. Every time he does anything, I I just like freak out and scream and cry because he's the best and I love him. He's really not the type of dog that I expected. Like he is a golden retriever and golden retrievers are like one of my favorite breeds of dogs. Oh, he just rolled over. But like I expected to get like a different type of dog. Like I, we were looking at different like terriers and like poodle mixes of animals and just so sweet. Like I know we all kind of fell in love with him immediately. I know I did. And then I kind of guilted every other member of my family into loving him too. He doesn't really bark. The only time he's ever barked was like at, at night, like the, I think like the first night or two when we had him and we put him in his cage right here. That's really all he's barked. And I know he's probably gonna bark like more when he gets older, but like the only time he's ever barked besides like going to bed is like today randomly when we were sitting here together, he just barked while eating his food. I don't know why, but just live your life, dog. <laughs> Speaking of that though, the problem that I run into is that like I always like call people dog, like friends and like just random other people. I'm like, okay dog, like what's up dog? Like stuff like that. And I keep doing that to him because like I just talk to him all day while we're together. I'll be like, hey, what's up dog? Or like he'll do something. I'll be like, don't do that dog. And like I, it's weird because like he is a dog and it's not like a cool like, what's up dog? It's like he is a dog. 
and it doesn't sound right. It sounds weird. He's like really floopy today. You see how he's just kind of rolling around and eating his toy. When we first had gotten him, he like didn't really touch his toys at all. He just like wasn't feeling it. And like now he's like getting into it, boy. Like this is his toy and it's like this little water bottle in here. And the point is that they like chew it, but he's too little to actually chew it. So he's just eating the little top part and the little rope that you're supposed to, like the person is supposed to hold. Look at him go, ooh hoo, hoo Yeah, but he's gonna get real freaking fat. Like, I know everybody's been like, he's so cute and small, and I'm like, yeah, he is. But like, in like a few months, he's gonna be like so big. And like, I'm not emotionally ready for that. He's so floopy, I love him so much. And a lot of people have been asking me if I'm gonna make him like an actual Instagram account, but I don't think I'm gonna. I feel like he's humble. Like, I feel like if you're like a dog with an Instagram, no offense to any dogs with Instagrams out there, but I feel like you have to have like a level of like, like, coolness or whatever like I think he's really humble he's really mellow I feel like he wouldn't want that I feel like if he was a person he'd be one of those people that's like I don't really want social media but he's gonna probably be on my Instagram I'm sure he's gonna be featured in a lot of videos too I just don't know what capacity oh ho ho he's so cute hi everybody it's me something that I really like to do with him is to like annoy him a little bit and like sometimes like he'll be sitting there I'll be like I'm gonna wet wag his tail for him just because he doesn't deserve to use that energy to be excited. I'm gonna help him out. And I like, I do it for him. And look, he just is like shook. He's like, what do you think you just did? But it's cute and endearing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right now. Oh, ho, ho, good boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, I wanna do like the puppy picks what book I read or whatever the frick that everybody else does. I feel like that'd be a fun video to do with him. But if there are like certain like things you want me to do with him, like bookish things, preferably, like make him a freaking book dog house, like let me know. Like, I feel like that'd be so fun. So one of my favorite things about him is that we have this ball, right? And he's like a retriever, so they like to get stuff. So Wally, 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 like I said, he don't freaking know his name. What the freak am I supposed to do? When I throw this ball, instead of like being like a normal dog where he runs and gets it, he kind of watches it bounce for like 20 seconds and then he runs. It's really cute. Okay, you want to see it? Go get it. Then he go gets it and then he plays with it. He's just so humble. Who is the good puppy? It's you. It's you. I'm pretty sure he knows how to sit. I'll show y'all. He knows how to sit. This is like my favorite thing that I ever did. He's been here for four days, okay? Come into the light, honey. Okay. Wally. Oh. He already sit. Do I give him a treat or do I not? I feel like he deserves it, but I don't want to give you a treat because you didn't. I didn't say anything yet. Come over here. We got to get you to stand up. Okay, Wally, sit. Good boy. Is that him learning how to sit or is that just him sitting because I'm standing here? I don't freaking know. This is him looking out over his kingdom. What are you doing? He just like licks the ground sometimes. I don't know why. Somebody probably has an answer to that. <laughs> One of my favorite things that he does is that like I catch him and he'll just randomly be in the curtains right there. He's not like biting them. He's not doing, he's just standing in there. And I'm like, what the frick are you doing? Let's just follow him around. What you gonna do now? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh, he's so cute. Good boy. Who's a good boy? I'm filming a documentary. Oh, no, just eat like you normally do. Okay, I'm not even here. <laughs> I am here though. I don't know how exciting this is, but he's eating his food. He's drinking his water. Ooh. Wally, get it. He's shook. Wally, you want the ball? <laughs> See, there he goes. Now he wants it. Like, he waits for it to fully go by, and then he decides, you know what? I do want to play with this. He's going to retrieve it and bring it back. To oh, he jumped up. Oh, my God. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, here we go. He's going to retrieve it, okay? He's a golden retriever. He's going to go, and he's going to retrieve it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. he's never did that before. <laughs> okay, retrieve. Bring it. <gasps> I don't think he did that on purpose, but it was still really cute. Okay, go get the ball. Oh. Ooh. This is footage from my documentary, okay? You know, the cutest thing I ever seen. Oh. Retweet if you love him. Ooh, hoo, hoo. There he go, there he go. 
It's the cutest puppy I ever seen in my life. So that's Wally the puppy. If I'm kind of absent from the internet for a while, that's probably gonna be why. I've got a big responsibility. I have a son that I need to watch over and protect with my life. Yeah, he's gonna get really, really big soon. I'm not emotionally ready for that, but like, he's gonna be so cute. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you love him as much as I do. Like for real, is that not the cutest thing you've seen your whole life? Like I love him so much. Wally, say bye to everybody. He's sleeping, but okay, bye. See you guys next week. <laughs>